In just three weeks, fully vaccinated Americans will be allowed to come to Canada for non-essential reasons. The data that we're basing the decision on today is really about a growing sense of the protection of vaccination, both for, for infection and for onward transmission. American citizens and permanent residents currently living in the U.S. can come starting August 9th. And a month later, on September 7th, fully vaccinated travelers from any country will be allowed in too. Proof of vaccination with a Health Canada-approved vaccine and a negative pre-departure test is required, but a 14-day quarantine is not. The government is not requiring a post-arrival test either, except for people randomly selected to do a one-day test. We are not changing our measures at this time for individuals that are not fully vaccinated. The U.S. government has not announced a reciprocal arrangement for fully vaccinated Canadians. The White House says the administration is still reviewing policies at the border. Decisions about reopening travel will be guided by our public health and medical experts. I wouldn't uh, look at it through a reciprocal uh, intention. We will continue to work with them, but understand and respect uh, that every country makes its own decisions. The announcement comes amid a surge of cases in the U.S. where health officials are warning the more transmissible Delta variant is fueling outbreaks among the unvaccinated. The health minister was asked if opening up is too risky. That is why we continue to maintain that all travellers are required to do a pre-departure test, regardless of their vaccination. Fully vaccinated people present a very, very low risk. Niagara Falls Mayor Jim Diodati says he welcomes the decision, but would have preferred fully vaccinated Americans to be allowed back in sooner than August 9th, given the economic significance of the summer tourist season and the amount of money Americans contribute to the local economy. 50% of the revenue in Niagara Falls comes from the U.S. Fingers crossed that these business people can pull it off and survive until next season. Unvaccinated children under 12 will be allowed into Canada with their fully vaccinated parents, although they have to avoid group settings for two weeks. And a Health Canada spokesperson said that could include indoor tourist attractions. Now, also on August 9th, five more Canadian airports are going to be allowed to receive international flights. Hamilton isn't one of them, but the Minister of Transport says after that date, they're going to be working with more airports across the country to get them back open for international travel. Back to you.